talk about was uh you know the drop uh that's normally what i start out with when i'm making a song just because uh, the those are the sections that inspire me the most they're the most fun to make maybe i should save them for last but you know you know so the sounds were made from a bass jam that's kind of how i started this out so i think i was just messing around with just a saw wave and i'm not exactly sure what i was doing so i think i was just throwing on effects and changing things around So I was getting sounds like that, this one. So I froze this, but uh, I took that and I added a bunch of effects um, and I started automating everything that I could think of. I'm not gonna open up all these automation lanes, but you can see like uh, almost all of the effects that I added on are being automated in some sort of way. And so yeah, I got an erosion, a phaser distortion, flanger, all from kilohertz. Uh, there's this echo, which is I'm automating both the feedback and the dry wet, but also the um, delay time that gives me this. But you can see this bass jam is miles long. There's a lot of interesting sounds in there um, and too many to just pick from. So uh, I went through and I I selected ones that I liked the best. These are ones from, I think that's the normal one. So yeah, just uh, sounds from the normal one that I liked and then sounds from the affected one. So lots of cool sounds, lots of moving sounds. And then from there, I started out making this sound and this is uh, this sound got corrupted while I was making it. So I had to bounce it out. So I can't show you what the process was when I made it, but there's more effects on it that I added later. And the next sound that I used was this sound. I thought it fit really well with the this type of uh, rhythm. I have all these weird like moving sounds and like this one's just kind of, it's like really solid and just kind of like is there, you know? What I did is I duplicated it and I pitched it up and added some effects on it. Like bit crash and this Haas effect. So it has a little bit of stereo whiteness and that creates it like, that makes it sound like this. And then this is just some, some white noise, uh, I used operator and another Haas effect that sounds like this. So that gives it a little bit more uh, high end. The next sound is kind of similar. Uh, it's a, like the same type of idea, but it's it, uh, it's it sounds different than this one. And uh, I did the same thing here, I think. I pitched it up, added some, like, uh, some stereo widening and some bit crush more high end, a little bit more crunch, and then uh, another uh, white noise, but this time a little bit higher in pitch than this one. And then the second time you hear this sound, I have, like I did this, this ARP group. This sound is fat. What I'm doing is I have all these different serum stacks. I don't really remember what they were. Um, I think they were all just like variations on uh, super saw. I think on this one, it's just like a higher pitch. Oh no, this is a simpler sound. And then on the, in the other ear, um, and then in this, and I kind of like, I built it like this first and then I started adding these other things on afterwards because uh, I can't see the future. Uh, I have this effects rack, low pass, and then below that, a high pass. There's these glitch fills. So these are cut up so that they could, you know, actually sound like they are in rhythm. I don't know where the sound came from. I warped it so that it's actually in quintuplets. It, it kind of sounds like triplets when you're listening to it and you're not really paying attention, but uh, it's actually, there's, there's five. And I really liked the way that that like kind of broke up uh, the groove that I had going. And then this one, I don't remember what it originally sounded like, but I warped it so that it would be in quintuplets and then and then I uh, automated the pitch or the transposition in the clip. Um, and then this sound came from a mixture of this 
and that sound. And we have this. I think this is a different sound too. And here, originally, I had like a completely different thing going on. I was going with this like uh, this simple wub that was doing like uh, just quarter notes, and then I was kind of going crazy with this thing. It sounded like two different songs to me, um, and I didn't really like the way that it transitioned. And I felt like it was also way lower energy than this section. So I started out with like this really high energy section and then I kind of go into this like vibey groovy section with like lots of complex rhythms and it just didn't, it didn't sit well with me. So I changed it. I started bringing in sounds from over here and I was just like, why don't I just uh, mess with the rhythm? So that's where this kind of new rhythm section comes in. And then that's where I added in this sound. Um, this is a, a newer development. Just a really simple wub. The only other difference besides like the, the actual rhythm and like where I started placing things is this. Um, and that's just a, that's a, a, like a hodgepodge of a bunch of these like moving sounds that I have. I love that little, this is like one of my favorite sections. Uh, well, this is my second favorite section. Like the way that like comes in and does that. Super cool. Second drop uh, is slightly different. Um, I think I, I added a few more sounds. This sound came from like the, the original second drop. And that is the quintuplet sound pluck thing. And I just threw on a vocoder and a bunch of effects like this delay. And I, I automated some of the delay times. Yeah, and then uh, I added in this, which is like a little screechy thing and then i changed the rhythm i moved some things around i didn't change the glitch fills at all actually um except for in here and that's where my first favorite section comes in one of the sounds that i added the reason that like that that, that came about is one of the sounds that i added is is this new fill so i took this sound and in here i kind of wanted to have it in the same spot, but in the newer section. And so then when we get over to here, where I change up this section, and I have this little fill, I just cut it up. So cool, I love that. Um, it's like a really nice, like groovy fill. Well, uh, one other thing that I did is uh, I changed up that higher pitch screech. I added these two sounds. So there's this first one, and then there's this one. Um, and those are completely different sounds, but the way that they like blended together it sounded so uh, clean, especially this one. It kind of sounds like this is glitching out and it's because of the way that like it, they're both going in the same effects. They both have the same white noise over it. So the white noise kind of ties them together, uh, which makes it sound like the sound is either morphing or uh, glitching out. And I think that's that's really all I wanted to talk about with the with the drop. Okay, so the intro is is actually really simple. I was just kind of messing around. I was gonna do like an ARP thing and then, uh, and then I came up with this. And originally, Right, so that was the original chord progression. But then when I was writing the melody, it just like, along with the chord that was under it, it just sounded like, almost like sad. Um, so under the ARP, I added, just, uh, just like this organ. Just to fill out some things, you can't really hear it. And then under the melody is uh, just the bottle blower preset and serum pitched up an octave. And then the only other thing about the intro is uh, I use this phase plant patch. I put on like a this filter that kind of oscillates, but it never goes all the way up. So there's no high end and that gives the melody room to kind of be there. And then of course it has to be lower in the mix, but. And that just kind of lets you know that uh, you're not listening to a soft track, like that the, 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 this is dubstep. Second verse. Okay, so I have this like pretty soft intro and you have the task of like making this, but actually let me talk about the, I don't care about the buildup. The buildup is just, it's pretty simple. I keep these things going and then I have the frequency shifter on most of the things. <laughs> 
And then I also have this like a uh, little quintuplet thing going on with the kicks to establish that there will be quintuplets in this song and you need to be prepared for it. So yeah, so I had this pretty soft intro and I had the task of like having to build it up so that this didn't just like come out of nowhere, like the energy was there. But then the second verse always has to keep that energy kind of going, but without overdoing it, like give you a little bit of a break, but like still have the energy there. So I changed the melody to, I put it on this instrument, which is just, that's bottle blower. That's not it. Which is just uh, my phase saw preset that I made. So I have that and that's pitched two octaves down. And then I have this one, which is just, it's at the original register that the melody's written at. And that's just to give it a little bit more uh, body. Also, uh, some, some more bodying. In the basses, I have that same sound. At its like lowest uh, register in the in the zero register. All right, so those are them together, um, and then I still have the bottle blower layer on it. Some more high end, and then uh, I kept a, I put a sub under it, and that's what's keeping the energy going. Is like not only like the intensity of the sound, but also the fact that there's still a sub, and the sub is is pretty constant. This is something that I like to do a lot, which is I'd like to treat my melodies like they're singing melodies, and so I'll add harmonies onto them. And like all together. Pretty. And then the last thing that I did, this is the very last uh, before mixing, is I kind of wanted another sound in the drop, and that's this sound. Light and airy, it's just like, it's like a pacer. And before we move on in the mix, I just wanted to talk about the samples because these are fun. All of the samples in this song I recorded myself and I don't, I've always wanted to do that and I normally don't um, because I never know what to say. But when I was listening to this, I thought of like a, a girl saying, you know, oh, oh that's pretty. Um, so I said it and uh, I'm not a girl, but uh, if I try to take the bass out of my voice and talk a little bit like higher up in, up in like my head area, you know, instead of down here in my chest, kind of go like this and, you know, speak a little bit softer, um, then I can sound. Ooh, pretty. Actually, I didn't, I don't think I did that with this one. <laughs> I've done it before. I think I just kind of said it uh, and then I pitched it up. Ooh, pretty. So it sounds really affected. It kind of does sound like I added effects onto it, like I did the other sounds. I guess. I don't know. And then, uh, you know, because this is for subdivision and, and all of uh, uh, us subdivision artists are uh, underground, you know, I, and I think, you know, this song is a pretty good representation of like underground dubstep because it's not, I feel like this is more for producers and like diehard dubstep fans, you know, people have different music tastes. That's not a problem. Uh, but yeah, I just don't see that as being, I don't see this song as being like that type of song where, you know, you can just like listen to it and like it unless you really like dubstep or if you're a producer and you like uh just crazy shit so yeah i came up with the the sound the we're going hard in the underground we're going hard in the underground and then i did this pretty standard thing uh this is stacked but we're going hard in the i think this is um slightly detuned we're going hard in the we're going hard in the and that's pitched up we're going hard in the <laughs> way pitched down we're going hard in the we're going hard in the And then I took it all out when the when the drop hits, so you just kinda have We're going hard in the Now it's it's fading into the background so these things can be up front. I don't want all these all this shit here. And then uh just some standard, you know, like I'm amazed at the fact that I actually made something like this. Holy shit. I also said uh the D word. Damn and I took that original sample and I chopped it up so it matched with the drums. <laughs> This is the mix, uh, and what I did is I just, I bounced everything down to audio, and that, that way I can mix it a little bit better, like the, you know, that stacked sample is no longer stacked, whoops. I took out 
tail ends that were that were bothering me and all of that good stuff. I don't think there's much. I don't think I added anything. Yeah, that is the track. We're going hard in the underground.